Hello, there was a request online for a video creating the ZX Spectrum Next alternate ROM. So I'm gonna go ahead and create the alternate ROMs for Galaxian. I apologize in advance, I'm using my cell phone. So this may not look the greatest, but here we go. First, let's go get the files. I will have all the links in the description also. So here we are at uh, the ZX Spectrum Next Cores repository, Victor's repository. So we'll click on Arcade, Galaxian Hardware, download the zip file. Extract it. So we're going to run each one of these batch files. But before we do this, let me zoom in. Before we can do this, we need to have the main ROMs. So I've already downloaded those. So we're just going to copy them into this folder where the batch files are. Oops. And if you're not sure which ROM file to get, there are listed on the web page. Let me go back. Right here. These are the files you're going to need. If you're not sure which version to get, you can look inside the MRA files. And it lists which version in here, the main version. So next we're just going to run each batch file. And make sure you're, that there's no mismatches. This is a match. We'll just do it for each one. Okay, that's it. Next step is to copy the files to your ZX Spectrum Next SD card. So let me go ahead and pop that in. Oops, already in. We're going to go to the machines folder. And we're going to copy this Galaxian folder over. And the 
the batch files created each one of these ROM files that we're going to need. Okay, so let's eject this and go ahead and put it in the ZX Spectrum. switch over to the ZX Spectrum. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'm going to press F1 to reset it. Then I'm going to hold down the letter C button to go into the alternate cores menu. Looks like I've already added this. Let me go ahead and remove it. Sorry about that. I didn't realize I already had it installed. So let's go up to the first slot, which is eight. And we're going to press the space button. And we're going to go ahead and install the Galaxian hardware. Here we go, now we have it. And we can just hit enter to start the core. And here they all are. Now it's sideways, we can change that orientation by hitting the letter R. There we have it. We'll select another one. Just reset. Hold the C button down. Once again, hit the R button till you get the orientation that looks good. So it's upside down, so I'll hit R again. We're getting there. Hit R again. There we go. And if you want to see what that looks like on the card, SD card, machines, and there we go. Thank you. Hopefully, hopefully this is helpful.